the industrial sector, landlords have been in a position of pricing power, and that showed up in uh, our rental outcomes where we've raised rents 24% on a cash basis. And uh, more, perhaps more importantly, we've had several great outcomes in leasing buildings in our development pipeline. Joining me today is Will Eglin, Chairman and CEO of LXP Industrial Trust. So Will, what would you point to as some of the key achievements for LXP during 2023? Well, I think the biggest area of achievement has been in leasing, right? It's been in the industrial sector. Landlords have been in a position of pricing power, and that showed up in uh, our rental outcomes where we've raised rents 24% on a cash basis. And uh, more, perhaps more importantly, we've had several great outcomes in leasing buildings in our development pipeline. Um, I would also say that we made a lot of progress selling uh, the bulk of what was left of our office portfolio. That's been a key strategic initiative for us. Uh, and then third, more recently, we refinance all of our near-term debt, so we don't have any debt maturing for the next few years. And how is LXP uh, positioned to deal with ongoing market financing challenges, and how are larger macro factors impacting your overall strategy? Well, I think the big question for the commercial real estate industry is how we all manage debt maturities for the next few years. Uh, our view is that we wanted to extend our maturities so that it wasn't part of the dynamic in our business. And we think that that should create a lot of opportunity for well-capitalized public companies who may have acquisition opportunities from private investors who may have more difficulty uh, refinancing their debt. So that was a key factor in terms of our decision to extend out our maturities now. And what do you see as the greatest potential for growth for LXP in the year ahead? Well, we're very focused on opportunities in the build-to-suit area um, at the moment. Typically, in a market environment like this, where you have a rapid decline in speculative construction starts combined with capital being scarce, that's typically when build-to-suit becomes a good opportunity for us. So that, on the external side, that'll be our main area of focus. Uh, inside the company, um, you know, we still have the opportunity to raise rents. Our rents are about 24% uh, below market at the moment. And we're also improving the escalation structures in our leases. And this year we've achieved annual escalations of about 3.5%. So I think a nice mix of opportunity on the external growth side, but uh, we also have the capacity to continue to grow organically.